Clavio email marketing tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step how you can get started with Clavio for email marketing. Clavio is one of the world's leading email marketing tools out there with its amazing price plans and a free plan available for everyone to try out. So let's get started. The first step is to head on over onto Clavio.com. Once you head on over to Clavio.com, you're going to click on sign up over here. Once you click on sign up, you can proceed with signing up. Now for your sign up process on Clavio, all you need is an email address and your company information. So you're just going to fill in your email address and your basic information. I've already completed this particular step. So I am just going to log on to my Clavio account that we've already built. And once you do that, this is basically the first step, which is just going to be account creation. And we're just going to verify we are not a robot. And then you're just going to click on login or sign in when you're creating your account on Clavio. Once you do that, you might have to proceed with account verification. So for that, you're just going to enter the verification code that was sent to your email. So just open up your mailbox. And once you open up your mailbox, you will receive your particular verification code and then just click on login. Once you do that, our first step has been completed and we can proceed with sending out emails using Clavio. So on the left, you will have your basic company name and your basic billing information, integrations and your general settings. Now, the first thing you want to do is customize your name because these fields can be really important as a business. You usually want to add this as the business representative information, and then you have your login information and your landing page. Then you have your organizational information. So let's say my default name is going to be Lily Davis from Spencer or Lily Davis from Lily's Makeup. This is going to be my sender name. Then we have our sender email address, which we're going to select. Then after that, we're going to enter our organization name, which is going to be Lily's Makeup. And then I'm just going to click on save. Once you do that, you can proceed with users and you can add multiple different users. So if you have a team for email marketing or marketing in general, you can add them with different permissions. Then you have your messaging and domain information, so you can connect a domain as well. But we have just set up our basics and we're going to proceed with the next step of Clavio. So the next step is to start adding your own audience. Now in your audience section, if you click on audience, you can go into lists and segments. Now lists and segments are two different things. Lists are basically a static list of people. So let's say I make a list of all the people that were wearing red today. And that's going to just be a list. It's not going to change. Whereas a segment would be where it's based upon a certain property. So who wore a red shirt? And this would be updated every day. That would make it a segment. So usually segmentation is based upon VIP customers or customers that have spent over 1000 in the past month. And they would be entering that particular segment. So that is how you can divide your customer base. And below that, you have profiles. Now... To get started with email marketing, you obviously need to add profiles and add your customers. So we have suppressed profiles and all our general profiles. And you can click on over here to view your subscriber growth as well. You have your general growth tools, including sign up forms, as well as Clavio SMS subscriber and preferences page which can help you in getting more emails and more potential leads and customers. So I can click on create a list and start creating a list of a specific type of customer. And whenever you want to add a customer, you can search for them as well as search by email, search by phone number as well. Below that, you have your general content information, including content templates, products, and images and branding. So make sure to upload all of those products and images over here, which can help you in integrating them into your emails. Now let's get started with actually setting up our emails that we're going to be sending out using Clavio. So for that, you can click on campaigns. Once we click on campaigns over here, we're going to click on create campaign on the top right and we're going to enter the campaign name. Let's say this is going to be our summer sale announcement and then this is our draft date and then the type. This is going to be an email and then I'm going to click on continue. Once I do that, I can choose the audience and I can choose smart sending as well. So this will not be sent to people who've already received an email within the past 16 hours. 
Then after that, we have tracking as well. Then you're going to click on next. And once you click on next, you're going to choose your subject line. Let's say our subject line is going to be welcome to summer with our grand summer sale. And below that, you will actually see some AI based or suggested subject lines. Summer sale alert, don't miss out, kick off summer with big savings. Now, I personally like this a lot more than what I wrote, so I'm going to select that. And we can add some of our preview text, which is not necessary, so I'm just going to skip it. And we have our sender emails, and you guys can see soon inbox provider domains can't be used in sender email addresses, so we would have to update our default sending address to a business address, which you can easily purchase a business uh, email address via Google or via any domain name provider, which can help you in purchasing email or a business email that is in conjunction with your domain name. Once you do that on the right, you have several different saved templates, which you can get started with, or just click on create on the top right to get started with a blank template. Once we do that, we're going to click on replace on the logo and I don't have the logo I want. So I'm going to delete and then click on over here, click on upload image, select my image, and I'm just going to upload our brand new logo. Once I do that, this will be inserted and the size is a bit too large. so. What we're going to do is the logo is centered and I'm going to make it zero. Once I've done that, we can go into our styles. We have our link address, content, the link text, padding, as well as corner radius. Now, once we've done that, we can go back and in our header bar, we have a shop now section as well as a new section, which you can choose to remove if you want as well. I only want this on desktop devices. Then after that, we have different types of basic content blocks. We can drag and drop from the left as well as universal uh, content blocks we can build that are frequently used within our emails. I'm going to add an image and then I'm just going to click on over here, select the image. Let's say we have this image here and I'm going to select and below that I'm going to go down. I can add some text right down over here. And I'm going to just click on edit text to edit it. So welcome summer with savings. Whatever you want in your email, they're going to add that. And you can format it all on the left. Once you've done that, you can click on next over here and make the final touches on your email, enter your subject line, and your campaign is ready to send. You can also do A-B testing with Klaviyo and explore some of its more advanced features with its free plan as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.